Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the data school at the Information Lab and I'm one of the doctor preppers for prep and data where we'll be getting the data for this video. So we're going to talk about data roles and how they can help us in our data prep challenges. So uh, the data that we're going to be using comes from challenge number 42 of 2019. If you want to go ahead, find that, download it. Um, go ahead. It's a great one for beginners if you're new to Tableau Prep. So if we just jump into the challenge, then we've done a little bit of cleaning up in the previous step, but don't worry, this is what our data set is looking like now. We have our cities, we have our countries, and we have a little bit more information um, in these other three fields that we won't be using for this video. So we can see that we've got a little recommendation here. Uh, Tableau Prep's recommendations are great to look out for, and it's telling us to change the data role to country slash region. So if we apply that, then we can immediately see that it's flagging for us some spelling errors. So some countries that aren't correctly spelt or that don't exist. So, you know, it looks like a big uh, spelling issues that we're having here, but you can see up here in our um, Read, uh, in our data type that we've got that it's a string, but then we've also now got country slash region associated with that string. So Tableau Prep's recommendation here is to either group those values or to filter them out. So we can either apply that change or apply this change to filter those out. I just want to run through that one more time quickly for you um, with the city. So we haven't got that little recommendation to change its data role to a city. So how do we go about doing that? Let me just zoom in. So you click on the string at the top of so the ABC and you, can, you don't change the fact that it's a string. That's fine. But the data role down here at the bottom is what's important. And it's a geographic data role and it's a city. So we go down to the bottom here and we choose city. Just to quickly talk about the other data roles. Um, so we've got emails or URLs. And again, they can be really useful for if you've got a large data set checking that you haven't got any spelling errors or um, that your email addresses are formatted correctly in the way that um, Tableau Prep would expect them to, you know, with an at sign and with a dot com or something like that. It can be really great at highlighting cases where that's not the case. So I'll click on city here. And again, you can see that we get those little red exclamation marks where value doesn't match the data role. And I will just show you that, um, let's take one of those recommendations. Let's take the one for group and replace. So if we see that, then um, it's using a combination of pronunciation and spelling to group those values. Please do check out the video on grouping if you haven't seen that yet and that all works nicely for us and similarly we're going to take that group values option for us again there to see if that works yep it's worked for some of the new york values it hasn't quite worked for some of the other values um, so maybe we go ahead and filter those ones out so we filter those ones out and again that just cleans it all up nicely for us so we can see we've got those data rules applied and why is that useful other than being able to help highlight errors? Um, let me show you another way that that can be really great for us. If we're planning to use this um, data in Tableau Desktop, then you can see that if we right click on any step, then we get this option here, this menu up here, and we can preview this in Tableau Desktop. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's run the flow to do that and we can hit done and hopefully Tableau Desktop is going to open on this screen, but I think it'll open on the other one. So there we are, just moved it across. You can now see our city and our country fields have little uh, geographic globes next to them. So we can see that that has a geographic role associated with it already when we bring it into Tableau Prep. So now that, that uh, Tableau Desktop, so that allows us to just immediately click on it and start building out um, maps where we can have our city and our country um, associated with the data with the latitude and longitude generated and that's just yeah obviously great for being able to go ahead and start building out our data set so thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to this channel check out our previous video on fixed LODs and stay tuned for our next video on aggregating data thanks for watching